guys welcome to my channel in case you just see me for the very first time my name is grace if you're my returning subscriber thank you for clicking on this video today we are in the farm and i want to show you around my mother's farm just one of our farms okay my mom farmed there was a place i showed people last year right uh, but this one i'm gonna be showing you her farm so that you will see this video is going to be very short um it's not so healthy compared to what we had last year and my mom does not also make use of fertilizer and all of that no she doesn't i would not know why but she has a big farm and uh, i want to show you people around it right now just in a jiffy okay there's something about a farm that i have not fully understood in as much as you plant anything you will always see things that are not planted like things you did not plant that may be in form of grasses weeds and all of that and now look at this water leaf it was not planted but it's it's it i mean it's it was there okay so in this farm you're basically going to be seeing every single thing that is planted here so this is a maize plant look at it's already bringing out some sprouting out some uh, fruits of the maize then we have the kukuyam plant too kukuyam is one of the things that is going extinct now and um, this is another kukuyam too i think she also planted this she planted it all over and then we have the vegetable the pumpkin leaf in one of my vlog i showed where she was you know planting pumpkin and maize in one farm like that now this is the cassava stem one thing about my mother's farm is like it has everything no minding how small the hips are it will always have almost like everything you see in a farm so this part of the farm is very bigger than the other one it's way bigger than the other one i think because this side was planted before the other side okay now i was surprised seeing this particular yam i would not know what they are calling if it's ghost yam or something or ado i don't know exactly what they are calling it i asked her she told me but this is something that they usually cook overnight and eat i think i showed it in one of my previous vlogs last year i was shocked that it was my mother's farm like we have not even eaten this we've never tested it for once but it was in our farm and on this particular day we're harvesting some vegetables we just needed to you know go um prepare yam porridge and we needed the vegetables so i and my mom who came to the farm for it okay and yes this is the owner of the farm the first somebody who says my farm it's not my farm this is the official owner of the farm and guys <laughs> she you know showed me everything all these things now are are corn all of them here all of them here going to the other side all of them here are corn i am not happy because hey <laughs> god hey i have never tested my mother's corn since she started staying in the village since my dad got so sick that we had to relocate down to the village i've never for once tested that corn i always come be as in around this period now that maybe the corn have not started you know sprouting out uh, and bearing fruit by the time it starts bearing fruit i will not be available sometimes too she used to call me she tell me i should come now so that i'll take corn i'll tell her just transporting myself all the way from Ore down to the village because of corn number no and one thing about my mother is she she cultivates her things on time i i mean somebody called me a village uncle called me the other day she said that my mom each time she's farming so early people will be thinking that she does not know what she's doing but she's always the first person to harvest her fruits she's always the first person to you know get harvest for instance that time now that corn that they are selling maybe two five hundred or four five hundred that's when my mother will be harvesting her her corns or maybe her vegetable just at it says right now you can see people's farms here you can see people just started cultivating look at but look at my mother's own he's so grown already very very grown that's one thing about my mom and ah, i will always say i wish to be as strong as her i wish to take all the sacrifices she has been able to take for her family I really do wish in as much as i'm not wishing myself to suffer too long and all of that but i wish i can just have half her strength because if i have it then trust me i can surmount every challenge in this life yeah 
and some people to tell me that I, I, I am just like my mother, like I'm so strong. Even she, she always tell me I'm stronger than her. She always tell me, ah, you are so strong. Oh, you are so young. From the time you've been young, from the time um, you are so small, you've taken up so many challenges. And sometimes she used to pity me. Yeah, she would tell me that she's pitying me because of the um, amount of load I'm carrying, even as a young person. And that's just it. Well, we are harvesting. Mom. I think it's okay. Let's make do of that one. We'll, we'll cook our hot soup. Yeah. We'll, we'll use our hot to prepare our soup. Then I'll get um, bitter leaf for my dad. Or possibly I'll also add this thing. There's no need adding that bitter leaf. We'll add a little of that one. We want to get this vegetable. That we'll use it to prepare porridge. Okay. Hopefully let my phone still be on. So that we'll show you the porridge that my mother is going to cook. My mother can cook. That's something about my mom. But they used to say that. Um, nobody will say that. The person's mom's soup is not sweet. But when it comes to my mom, everyone in the whole of our company they know that my mom is a good cook. Like that woman can cook. Like she can cook with just onions and maggi. And the food will turn out so greatly. So and that's where I got my cooking skills from. And after getting it from her, and I decided to, you know, share it to my younger ones i taught my younger ones how to cook especially that one that stay with me uju she can cook so well like sometimes the same thing my mother does each time i'm around she say ah, i should go and cook now my food is so sweet for her that's also the same thing i do when my sister is around i'll tell her to go cook because if i cook i will not enjoy it and most importantly my younger brother the youngest of us that is staying here in the village she has been the one that i've been preparing all these stews that i've been taking because that boy i don't know how my mom has been able to train her children the whole of my brothers i have three brothers the three of them they can cook very well like so so well so guys you've seen around my mother's farm and um, all of that we are currently headed home right now and please like the video subscribe to my channel and all of that okay i want to learn how to be like my mother i want to learn how to farm and everything but sh for instance now there are so many things i don't know like how to cut this vegetable i should have been the one that will come and do it but she said there are ways that they cut it you know i did not even learn it i ended up making videos instead of learning what i was supposed to learn so she said there are ways to cut it so that at least the remaining one will still bear that um fruit she that's what they call it here this one now is the leaf vegetable the fruit one uh -huh. so we are headed back home this is at the back of our house um just close by this farm that's one thing i love about village farm right yeah it's just close to the house and yes we've had a tour of my mother's farm we've seen all the beautiful things that she has there and i've also ranted of how i have not been you know getting something from <laughs> her, her corn like me i don't i'm not a fan of roasted corn yeah i'm not a fan of roasted corn i've never tested the roasted corn in my life maybe one of these days i'll just test it it makes me pork right mm. but i'm a fan of cooked corn with granite and pears yeah that's one thing i love right trust me i'm enjoying the whole of the fresh breeze please tell me in the comment section how do you feel when you go to your village i know some of us who don't have um maybe our villages are so developed and all of that in as much as i'm praying for development <laughs> oh <Omo. laughs> you know such as i pray for development i don't want the whole of this freshness to just disappear that's one unique thing i love about the village i'm always so calm you know receiving of the fresh breeze i don't know maybe because i just love nature but tell me in the comment section i know some persons they like to be in a place that may be rowdy and all of that like my dad he does not like the village he does not in fact even if you're getting a house he will want to get it at the center of the town but me i prefer places that there'll be grasses there'll be trees green leaves you know just nature around me and possibly that's why i fell in love with my village when we started coming here right so that's it we're almost home right now and you see all this this type of ede these ones are always very big like this you see them those big big ones that you are seeing at my back i don't know 
the kind of aid they those things are like cocoyam i don't know the species but it does not always have something like the whole of its strength you just use it to bring out the big big leaves but when you harvest it major times it does not have anything on that and also you can't easily find it in people's farm you can always find it just inside the bush you just sprout out on its own okay so we are home right now we are at home that's my mother there and this is me saying bye for now